An inquest into the death of a man who died in police custody after being tasered has started in North Queensland. The coroner heard Antonio Galliano was a loving brother who made poor life decisions and that he had a pre-existing heart conditions and amphetamines in his system when he died. Antonio Carmelo Galliano died in June last year after police used a taser to subdue him during a dispute at his home south of Townsville. The coroner heard today that the information pulled from the taser indicated it had been activated 28 times in around seven minutes, but witnesses only reported seven activations. The 39-year-old had been released from the Townsville Hospital the day before he died after being sedated in the air hospital because he was acting in a disturbed way. Mr Galliano's only sister, Giovanna Tamar, told the court that at times her youngest brother did display signs of disturbed behaviour. But in an emotional testimony, she told the coroner that he did not deserve to die in the manner that he did and that Mr Galliano paid the ultimate price for poor life decisions. The inquest will investigate the adequacy of mental health services at both the Townsville and Air hospitals, how appropriate the police response to the incident was and how satisfactory the Queensland Police Service taser policy is. We must remember that it was a coroner's recommendation that tasers be introduced into Queensland. 25 witnesses are scheduled to give evidence to the coroner for the Townsville sitting of the inquest, including the police officer who activated the taser. The inquest will move to Brisbane next month to hear more medical testimony. Megan Woodward, ABC News, Townsville.